Good day everyone! Welcome to our MAPI class. This is the second week of the first quarter. Before we start with our lesson for today, let us all ask the guidance of our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to the inputs of our teachers. May we appreciate his or her effort in imparting his or her knowledge to us. May we participate actively in the discussions and activities so we could learn more while having fun. May we value each other's contributions as a building block towards harmony and peace. Grant that as we interact with one another, we recognize the fact that all our learning activities should be accomplished for your greater glory. Grant that we recognize you and each of our classmates and teachers. As we stay at home, we pray that you keep us safe from harm and illnesses during this pandemic and we would be able to apply correctly what we have learned from online classes. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is our week 2 in art education. Our most essential learning competencies are the following. Analyze art elements and principles in the productions of work following the style of Western and Classical art. Identifies distinct characteristics of arts during the different arts period. Uses or functions of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of arts elements and principles. Uses artworks to derive the traditions, history of an art period. Reflects on and derive the mood, idea, or message from selected artwork. The Prehistoric and Western Classical Art Let's start in the ancient period. The Prehistoric Prehistoric includes all human existence before the emergence of writing. Their art is of interest, not only the art of historians, but also the archaeologists and anthropologists, for whom the art is only one clue, along with fossils, pollens, and other finds to an understanding of early human life and culture. Sculpture from Egyptian Era Realistic with heavy lidded eyes, slender neck, determined chin, and pure profile under her heavy crown. Queen refers to the great royal wife of the Egyptian Pharaoh. An example of art is from Queen Nefertiti, painted in the limestone. In the classical era, painting from classical Greek era, the Judgment of Paris is a story from Greek mythology, which was one of events that led up to the Trojan War and to the foundation of Rome. In the sculpture from the classical period, it shows an attitude of maximum tension, full of compressed energy and about to explode an action. This is the Myron, the Discobolus 450, image from Treasures of the World in 1961, CCP Library. In the medieval era, Romanist painting, an example is the Christ in Majesty. Painting from the Church of the Saint Clemente, one of the most common motifs in Romanist art is Christ in Majesty, where Christ is depicted in the full frontal view with the Gospels in his left hand and his right hand blessing the viewers. In the Romanist architect, the doorways of Romanist churches are often grand sculpture portals wood or metal are surrounded by elaborate stone sculptures arranged in zones to fit architectural elements. Byzantine Sculpture The Barberini Ivory is a Byzantine ivory leaf from an imperial diptych dating from late antiquity, now in the Louvre in Paris. It represents the emperor as triumphant victory. 
Artworks from the different art periods have their own style, functions, and characteristics. Through understanding the different artworks in different art forms, painting, sculpture, and architecture, will help us to understand the diversity of each artwork. Also, it will give us the answer to the question, where did all begin? How did it develop and what is the influences of these artworks to the modern art? In the prehistoric art of 1.5 BC to 2000 BC, paintings, their paintings were found inside the caves which may have been their way of communicating with each other. It may also be for religious or ceremonial purposes. Hall of Bulls the following are the examples of painting found inside the cave in the Paleolithic art Europe. Egyptian paintings. The purpose of Egyptian paintings is to make the deceased afterlife place pleasant. It emphasizes the importance of life after death and the preservation of the knowledge of the past. Most paintings are highly stylized, symbolic, and shows profile view of an animal or a person. The main colors used were black, red, blue, gold, and green derived from the mineral pigments that can withstand strong sunlight without fading. Here is an example of Egyptian painting. Egyptian art painting from the tomb of Tutankhamun. A tomb paintings were created with the intention of making a pleasant afterlife for the deceased because Egyptians had a firm belief in life after death. The painting depicts journey to the afterworld and introduce or introduction of the deceased to the god by the protective deities. This shows the beliefs that Egyptian gods are the ones who decide for an individual's afterlife. Prehistoric sculpture Frequently, carving may have mythological or religious significance. These are the following sculpture in the prehistoric period. Prehistoric art, the Venus of Wilhelm Dorp. The Venus of Wilhelm Dorp was created in such a way that it could be carried and transported easily since it only measures around 4 inches. It was believed that it served as a fertility and nourishment charm possible for a devotional use. The people who made this statue lived in an environment where fertility was highly desirable and the parts that mattered most, the breast, abdomen, and the genital, had to do with successful reproduction. Thus, successful reproduction leads to the hope for survival and longevity of people's lives and their communities. Realistic with heavy lidded eyes, a slender neck, determined chin, and pure profile under her heavy crown. This is an example of queens, refers to the great royal wife of the Egyptian pharaoh, the Queen Nefertiti, painted in the limestone in the 18th dynasty. Architecture This architecture is made of huge stone blocks which were probably intended for burial. The Menhir a huge stone standing vertically on the ground, usually standing in the middle of the field or arranged in row. The dolmens originated from the expression towel, men, which means stone table. These structures are in a form of table consisting of two huge standing stones supporting a horizontal giant stone. It is believed that it is served as a grave or as an altar. Cromlech, a Bretonic word where crom means bent or curved, and lech, which means slab or flagstones. Literally, it is a circle of standing stones. Egyptian architecture developed during the Free Dynasty period 4000 BC. Pyramids of Giza, Kupu Kafa, and Menkaura. Classical art. 2000 BC to 400 BC Greek paintings Paintings during the classical era were most found in bases, panels, and tombs. 
It depicts natural figures with dynamic compositions. Most of the subjects were battle scenes, mythological figures, and everyday scenes. It reveals a graphs up linear perspective and naturalist representation. Most common method are the fresco method of painting water-based pigments on a freshly applied plaster usually on wall surfaces. Colors are made of ground powder pigments mixed in pure water, dried and set with plaster to become permanent part of the wall. And caustic, developed by Greek ship builders, who use hot wax to fill the crack of the ship. Pigments were added and used to paint a wax hole. An example of painting, Judgment of Paris. Image from Treasures of the World in 1961, CCP Library. Paintings from the Roman era. Mosaic. It is the process where an image is created using an assemblage of a small pieces of colored glass, stones, or other materials. The, the full image is a Roman floor mosaic in the house of Juan Pompey dated 100 BC. The whole mosaic depicts the battle between the armies of Alexander the Great and Darius III of Persia. Sculptures Early Greek sculptures were tense and stiff. Their bodies were hidden within enfolding robes. After three centuries of experiments, Greek sculptures had finally involved or evolved and showed all the points of human's anatomy and proportion. This is an example of Greek sculpture. The Greek culture of humanism highly emphasized the human body, its physical beauty and athleticism viewed as divine. In ancient Greece, nude art first became significant in religious festival and athletic competitions that celebrated the human body, particularly the male. Athletes in the contest competed naked and were considered as a symbol of all that was best in humanity in achieving one's full potential. The Roman Sculptures Here's an example of the Roman Sculpture The Portonacio Sarcophagus Greek Architecture Temples consisted of central shrine or room in an aisles by rows of columns. The following are different types of columns, the Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Doric style is rather sturdy and its top, the capital, is plain. This style was used in mainland Greece and the colonies in southern Italy and, and Sicily. Ionic. The Ionic style is thinner and more elegant. Its capital is decorated with a scroll-like design. This style was found in eastern Greece and the islands. And the last one is the Corinthian. The Corinthian style is seldom used in the Greek world, but often seen in Roman temples. The capital is very elaborate and decorated with accentus leaves. The Roman architecture. They built sturdy stone structures bought for use and the perpetuate their glory. The Colosseum. The emperors erected huge halls and arenas for public games, bats, and procession. They built them of gigantic arcs of stone, bricks, and concrete or with barrel bolts. Now is the time for our question and answer. After this discussion, a Google form link will be sent in our group chat and our FB group and you have to answer it. Thank you for your listening and I hope you learned something.